Hi, hi guys. <coughs> you know what's really funny? It was so cold earlier, so cold. It was freezing this morning and now it's very hot. So I feel like I'm getting sick. Plus it's very hot outside and inside the office is freezing. In my office, right above my head is the vent and it's so cold it's emitting really cold air it feel, almost feels like they're putting on the air conditioner we're gonna get it fixed but oh my body aches it's so cold <clears throat> earlier i ran outside and took a 10 minute break i was so hungry so I decided to eat my lunch, so now I'm free. <laughs> I have a lot of time to talk. <laughs> You're gonna get bored of me just talking about food and everything else. So I'm gonna talk about Advil. I need it right now. <laughs> I always keep one in my purse and one in the office, at least a bottle of each. Um, it's not good for the liver, it's an NSAID, and however though, I get migraines and every time I feel it coming on, it gets numb right here, right behind my neck and above my head, so when I feel migraines coming on, I try and take Advil. Advil thins the blood, similar to Motrin and other generic ones. It thins the blood so it, you know, removes all of the numbness right here and eventually helps with the pain. Sometimes it doesn't and the migraines sometimes are very unbearable. I usually end up in the emergency room because I feel like my head is about to explode and I start throwing up for three days and then I can't eat and I keep trying to throw up until I'm heaving which is not good it makes the um, head hurt even more it's very dangerous for stroke or uh, blood clots in the brain so whoever gets migraines out there you just need to be careful that you need to catch migraine at its onset when you start feeling migraines coming on um, it usually hurts on the one part of the head or on your sinuses right here by the eyes um, on top of the head mine because it's mostly stress related starts on my shoulders shoulder blades and up to my neck right here at the back it gets so tense, it freezes, and blood can't flow well, so it goes up in the head. <laughs> so anyway, I'm taking two. Hopefully it helps. As for migraines, I've been going through different doctors, different specialists all of my life and uh, they all tell me the same thing. Avoid coffee, avoid chocolates, avoid nitrates, um, any processed food, any canned goods, don't eat it, and don't eat banana and all that. But in all honesty, I'm really bad. I still eat them. I know banana is good for me. Um, I don't eat canned goods anyway, usually. I don't unless it's very necessary. Um, I rarely eat meat. I eat very healthy most of the time. Um, mine runs in my family, so it's genetics. Um, 
the work that I do is very stressful so that attributes to migraines coming on almost every other day I get migraines some uh, worse than the other uh, sometimes I wake up and I'm fine the next day I wake up and it's pounding usually when I can't drive because of migraines you're very sensitive to light and you're dizzy and you throw up a lot so it's better to stay home and rest stay in the dark turn off all of the lights close the windows cover it with black if you can um, it usually helps um, I know my youngest sister gets migraines the one before her also gets migraines there are nine in the family, nine kids in the family, and three out of nine, including myself, we get migraines, which sucks because it's hard to travel. Every time I go on a plane and then there's drop in pressure, right, because you're inside the plane, I have migraines for 20-something hours on the plane, and as soon as I land Cebu, I'm very sick every time i go home to the philippines i'm sick for about a week um, i can't eat and my sisters usually make me malungai soup that helps because i just drink the broth <clears throat> a lot of the other specialists i've been to or i've spoken with they said that migraines is usually due to poor nutri nutrition growing up. Um, it's usually a sign of magnesium and vitamin B3 deficiency. So I'm taking that every night. I take the calcium, the magnesium, and then the vitamin B3 at night together. Um, I don't really see it helping me with my migraines as far as migraines go, but it's good for the body, so I take it anyway. The only other one that helps me is foot rub. When I'm really sick and I catch it at onset, I try and stay home. Or I would go to a spa and I have them rub the bottom of my feet and then you know gentle massage that usually helps also um, if there's no other way and um, I need to get better right away my doctor prescribed me <clears throat> it's a prescription I don't take it unless it's necessary I don't believe in pills so Every time I have a headache, I try and use peppermint, um, white flour, um, efficacent oil if I need to get a massage. I ran out. I have to go to the Filipino store. But when I'm at work and I know I don't have to drive for another six hours and I'm feeling really sick, I can feel migraine coming on. I have this prescription that the neurologist gave me it's called resatriptan it's only 10 milligrams and even 10 milligrams is too much for me because i'm only uh, 105 pounds i'm tiny so what i do is at onset of migraine i take one and i actually cut it into a quarter so I take a quarter, which is uh, only 0.25 or um, 25, so 12.5. Um, it's very small. It dissolves in the tongue. And that way I can still work. It doesn't work right away because it's not as strong as recommended, but if I take one, of the uh, 10 milligram it's 10 right yes 10 milligram if i take one of this 
uh, it incapacitates me. I can't move, so I have to be home, and I'm just going like this. I can't move. I can't stand up, so that's why I take half or a quarter with food. Um, the doctor usually gives me about a year worth of prescription, but they only give me like six pills per month because they're very expensive, but if you guys get migraines, I know the medicine there is cheaper in the Philippines. Um, ask your doctor or specialist to give you one of this, the Rizatriptan. It's the only thing that works for me. I've been to different doctors and specialists since 1994 and I just found out on this one this uh, neurologist was like try this one it helps the only thing is you can't be driving you can't be drinking coffee when you do this try and eat it with food if you can if you can't just take a quarter or half and you need to be on the bed you can't move for at least 45 minutes just make sure when you take it somebody's with you talk to your doctor to see what milligram is best for your body i'm tiny he gave me 10 but i know when i took 10 milligrams at one time i thought i was gonna be dead for two days i didn't wake up for two days that's how bad it is so anyway for me this is the only thing that ever worked um the only thing is you have to catch your migraine at onset when you feel it coming you need to take it right away. Um, I wanted to take it now because I feel migraines coming, but I have to drive in a few hours and I have work that is very important. I can't be falling asleep while, you know, reviewing some contracts. So I can't take it right now. When I get home, I'll for sure take it. But yeah, Rizatriptan is my migraine go to uh, prescription a lot of the specialists I went to also said that um, there are now <clears throat> uh, other pills that are on the market uh, I veer stay stay away from those pills because I really think the body heals on its own um, also the more you stay away from pills right now the better your body will respond to it when you're older and you get hospitalized because you know your body is not immune to that particular medicine um other than that i don't really use anything else I do those uh, heat pads on my back, on my neck, and on my head. Or if you have a hot and cold shower at home, shower in hot or as hot as your body can take. It helps because um, it helps with the blood flow on your back to the head and all over your body. Um, they also sell those acupressure things for right here which is for migraines headaches and even uh, digestive system it's kind of a plastic clip that's tight enough and it pushes the pressure point right here for your headaches and migraines and they're pretty cheap they have lifetime warranty it lasts forever it's just a clip right here that way you don't have to hold it, you know, while you're sick. You just clip it right here. I have some of those too, but I forgot to bring them. Buy some of those. They're only like, I think, in the Philippines. I saw it at Watson's one time. It was only, I think, 150 or 200 pesos. It's worth it if you get migraines, buy those. Um, anything else about migraines you just you know stay away from stress get some rest good sleep is always good with people who get migraines if you sleep too much 
you get migraines and if you don't sleep enough you also get migraines which sucks <laughs> it is terrible but <clears throat> anyway that's one thing that I talk to God all the time that um, if he were to change my life <laughs> I don't really care how hard life is going to be but the migraines I can live without it really hinders you on fun things and other things even at work you know I always miss work twice a month or three times a month because of migraines and I think they're very understanding they're good people here so they just said oh just come in when you feel better you know but <laughs> it's all about you know eating well sleeping well rest well no stress which is impossible but yeah go see your doctor and ask if you could have some resetriptan it works it's just you know you need to stay home um that's it i'll talk about migraines later more on migraines and what to do I love you guys. Bye-bye.